Isolation mode is a great way to work if you need to make specific changes to one small area, but you've got a very complex drawing. So right now I've got this picture of a hat and everything's grouped together. But if I wanted to make a change to just one of these circles or just one particular area, and I didn't want to ungroup everything, and especially if it's difficult to select one object, working in isolation mode is my answer. To go into isolation mode, simply select your object, then double click on it. You may have done this already by accident. When you do it, note, look at the very top left hand corner. You can start to see the layer structure that you're working in. So I'm in the party hat in group, and I've got just the party hat selected. Notice I can move things around now and select all the individual parts as if it's been ungrouped. I can further click on an individual point, so let's say just this one circle, double click. Now that particular path has been selected. I can't accidentally select anything else, only that one path can be moved around or resized or done whatever I need to with it. To get out of isolation mode, it's simply a matter of clicking on an empty area, double click, and it brings me back to working in normal uh, preview mode. Be careful that you don't double click on objects and go into isolation mode and work there for very long because it will tend to group things together or just make it difficult to work in Illustrator.